Hi, Jeremy Morgan here. Today we're going to do a quick introduction to Wintersmith in Windows 8. Now, what Wintersmith is, is a static HTML site generator. So what that means is it just generates flat HTML files that can be hosted nearly anywhere. Anywhere you can put an HTML file. You don't need PHP, you don't need Python, you won't need ASP, anything like that. So you can put it on GitHub pages or the Amazon stack, uh, pretty much anywhere where HTML is hosted. Now, it does use Node.js to generate it on your desktop, and it's extremely simple. And for that matter, you don't need to use Windows 8. You can actually follow these instructions to do it in OS X or Linux either. Uh, what you'll need is Node.js and NPM, a text editor, and a web browser. And what we're going to do is we're going to just walk through creating a simple site, do a little bit of editing, and just kind of show you how Wintersmith works. Okay, so we're ready to get started here, and what we're going to do is install Wintersmith through NPM. And as you can see, it starts to pull it down from the registry. And now that we've got it installed, we'll create a new project. Wintersmith new, and we'll call this test blog. And what this will do is pull down the default templates and default files. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. We've got contents, node modules, plugins, templates, and uh, config package and readme file. Let's take a look at some of those files. The first thing you see is a config.json file. Now it's obviously in JSON and it's pretty familiar to you if you're a developer on pretty much any platform. And so this is a really simple way to kind of edit your blog and set it up the way you want. So for the name, we'll put Jeremy's test blog. And we can save that information. And we'll save that. Now, in the template folder, there's a set of Jade templates, and you can kind of take a look at them and see that they're extending a layout, and you can see the general setup and structure of these. And even if you're not an expert on Jade, which I am not, you could, you could take a look at it and get a pretty good idea of what's going on and make some changes to your blog. It comes with a, a kind of a boilerplate setup that's really simple that you don't need to do a lot to, but if you want to dig into it, all the template files are available and pretty easy to modify. Now here I've opened up the file in test blog under contents, articles, and hello world. In there we have a markdown file. A markdown, if you've never used it, is a very awesome language for doing blogging. And that is what is used to create articles in this system. So we'll change the title. And as you can see it brings in the article.jade template. And we'll create that, and let's go ahead and preview what our site's going to look like. Now, as you can see, it starts the preview server, which is just an internal web server that's specifically for this purpose, and it's running at localhost 8080. And there we go. We have the blog set up with the new Hello World. Here's my items. This is really simple. Now there's some settings that you can do in your config to set how many articles are here. You can modify the template to modify this footer information. You can modify the header information and everything um, right there in these text files and then just generate another preview. Now one thing you'll notice here is when you make changes to some of these critical files, it'll restart that internal web service. So let's go ahead and do that. the change and save it
And as you can see, it's restarting the server every time I save it. So we'll refresh, and the new changes are made. So this is really how simple it is, and this is a flat HTML file that can be hosted anywhere. Now this is pretty cool, and what we're going to want to do is let's create a new article here. So what we'll do is create a folder, and what you can do is just grab the markdown from any of these articles here. And we'll change it. And we'll change the date up here. And then we'll save it. One thing you'll notice is that the web server has stopped, but we'll do Wintersmith Preview again. Refresh our page, and there's our new article. Now, uh, what about building the site? Well, that's pretty easy. What we'll do here is Control C, terminate out of that, and we'll type Wintersmith Build. And as you can see, it output some data here to let you know. Uh, generated it in 1,436 milliseconds, which is awesome. And there we go. There's our build. You go into the folder here. These are flat HTML files that you would just uh, copy and paste and upload into whatever server it's going to go into. So it's super easy, super fast, and just a quick way to, to generate the site. This is a really simple, as you can see, the, the blog itself is super clean as far as design goes, so it's really good for just pure writing, stream of consciousness type of stuff, but as I said, these Jade templates can be modified. Um, you can do pretty much anything you want with it, as you would with any other site. You can throw in some Bootstrap, you want to throw in some JavaScript, um, some SAS, anything you want, you can put it in here and build it with your site, and it's a really simple system. Now where I see this going is probably an extended plugin system and some things like that and probably some templates will come out and I think this is a really good system because it generates static HTML files which are very popular. Some of the static blogs load super fast and it's it's really easy and a good way to, you know, you push something up on GitHub pages which are super fast and you have a nice fast clean blog for just writing and playing around. and. And I noticed that it generates very quickly and it's very consistent and stable. So I have a lot of hopes for Wintersmith. I still really like Octopress. I'm still tied to that with my original blog. And, and I love what they're doing with that. But this Wintersmith shows a lot of promise. So I'm definitely going to keep an eye on it and build some blogs with it. And I hope you do too. If you enjoy my videos, subscribe to them on YouTube. And you can also follow me. You can go to my website. It's a programming blog at www.jeremymorgan.com. And I'm also on Twitter under Jeremy C. Morgan and Google Plus under Plus Jeremy Morgan. Now, I post a lot of stuff related to development, hacking, things that are going on. So I encourage you to follow me and I'll follow you back. And uh, thank you for watching the video.